Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Death Rattle Demon Hunter is currently one of the best decks in Hearthstone, and while these Nezot variants might not be in here for the long term, I believe that just topping the curve at Illidar Inquisitor might be a better strategy. I had a lot of fun playing this bit slower version, with Nezot as the curve topper, with Alexstrasza as the life binder, with Claw Machine, with Vectus, with Alar. Actually, Alar being a playable card in a deck is pretty awesome. And in this sort of build that doesn't have any other demons apart from the Illidar Inquisitor, whenever you play Nesoth, if you have played an Inquisitor, you're guaranteed to get another Inquisitor from Nesoth. The main power of the deck comes from the Demon Hunter Death Rattle Synergy cards from Forge in the Barons, though. Razor Boar, Razor and Beastmaster, Death Speaker Black Tone, that's just a phenomenal set of cards. And the new mini set gave this deck some new Death Rattle minions, devouring Ectoplasm, Fell Rattler, so now there's more minions for Razor Boar and Beastmaster to pull, so they're even more difficult to get off the board, and then there's also more minions in the deck for Death Speaker Black Tone to pull from your deck, so you just stick on that board. It's really, really hard to drive you off. Death Rattle Demon Hunter's forte is to beat slower decks because they just can't answer all the threats that you can present, and you just keep pushing through and eventually they will crumble. Against faster decks you need some defenses, which is why two copies of Death Set Cultist right now is absolutely mandatory for this archetype. I also like Curtis Ashfallen for these faster matchups because it can clear some boards and swing the game in your favor. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're looking for three cards. You're looking for your Razor Boar, you're looking for your Razor Man Beastmaster, and you're looking for Tusk Piercer. Just getting those Death Rattle minions on the board, playing from a nice curve from there, and that's it. Now, let's go take a look at Nezot Death Rattle Demon Hunter in action, and if you enjoy this content, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. If they hadn't done that, then... They... Because much of the time it just doesn't matter. Things like that, they just don't matter. Like playing correctly or not. The best. A true blame crescent. Intriguing. Vengeance is mine. Oh, that's a sweet one now. Now that I was able to get the devouring ectoplasm there. If I wasn't able to get that, I would have been in, in trouble. It's going to be hard to get Kurtros to be outcast. I'm not not really excited about spending a coin here, but I may have to. This supposed the devouring ectoplasm, of course. They also managed to pull one. I do need to coin the Curtis now. It's the only strong play here. Okay. Well, they have the True M Crescent, of course. They may have some Rush minions. I kept the Renowned Performer in hand because that's still as effective even when it's not outcast. And using Curtis now when it's outcast. Just makes it more effective. And I th thought I needed some tempo here. If I use this, I could get Skull to 5 mana, but then I, won't, I still won't be able to play it next turn, so that doesn't really matter. This has to be the performer. I'll use these to trade and that to go face. We get this couple of 1 1s here, so they mitigate the effect of the true aim crescent. But next turn is going to be really hard for me. Probably will have to play the studies and hope that I can pick up something. More skulls. Philosophy. Philosophy could be useful. I already have one skull there. What will they be able to do with the fishy flyer? Nothing too bad, right? No, oh, I, I think I need to go face here. I got six mana, they could have a lot of stuff. 
I have the claw machine option for next turn. I have the five cost skull, so that still leaves me with one mana to play with. So if I get like a four cost card from the skull, I can still play that. In my folly, I have so chaos. Why are you playing Narrowlex in your deck? That seems very, very suboptimal. Need to play my outcast skull. Well, that was disappointing. Very, very disappointing that one. I guess it's fishy. Let's play fishy on this board. Then I have for next turn. I have the death speaker and the fell rattler. They had a death speaker too. So how good is their death speaker? Double fell rattlers. That's pretty sweet. Now I can't get a fell rattler from the death speaker anymore. So I can use my fell rattler to kill their fell rattler and the renowned performer. I want to get rid of their fell rattler though. So let's kill that one now. And then do my dead speaker. Let's kill one of those. Okay. They have two dream cards. And a fishy flyer. And they still have the Raging Fell Screamer discount. They have not played any demons. This will summon a Fell Rattler or a Razor Boar at the moment. Let's see. That was strong. Anything more? An Outcast Skull, that's strong. They are out of mana now though. Surprising moves. I could try to pick up some, because all the big minions that I have are still in the deck. I could try to find some of them, although I don't have to. I can also go for a move like this. I think I can go for that. That means I have a bit more of a board than they do. I get them down to 10. So we're in, getting close to a point where an Illidar Inquisitor top deck could decide the game. I'm still at 25 and I have a... And I have a minion on the board. A healing minion. I'll take it some taunts though. Alright, they pick up some taunt minions. What does Mittenus eat? As long as it doesn't eat the claw machine. It ate the claw machine, that was un that was unexpected. One more mana left. The other is still two dream cards. Right at the start of their next turn. So they will have 15 power on the board at the start of their next turn. Very well. This is a tough one. I have to use the skull here. That performer can be invaluable. This and the performer. Performer kills that. 
this one kills that and I'm just hitting face here. Okay, we got them down to seven now. So, unless they can heal, I can kill them with Alex. And I'm behind two 1-1 one -one taunts. So pushing 28 to my face should be reasonably difficult. They have to be able to heal now. Because I just don't see them pushing 28 here. That is not a healing card. So it appears that the opponent is dead. Phew, that was a tough, that was a tough game. Going first, I can't keep a tree drop going first. Why aren't you watching hockey? Why would I be watching hockey? Hi Dave, good to see you. Like the Finnish national team. Is there, is there a single player that would actually fit into the team before the best players were available? I'm not sure if there is. So it's always been a bit of a bit of a weaker tournament. Well, Paladin. Paladin kept three cards. I would expect them to be playing the Nazot Paladin. That seems to be the strongest one currently. Let me think. Where did that secret go? I don't absolutely need to draw, I can just play the Razor War. Something's... something's not quite right with this game. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? A key skill in Hearthstone. Try to figure out when you're actually disconnected from the game. And then quickly kill the, off the client, so that you have a chance to reconnect before you lose the game. If you take too long to figure out that, hey, this is actually not ha working, then you will lose games because of that. But experienced Hearthstone players can tell immediately that mm, my sixth sense is tingling. I can see that I am disconnected from the game now. And my sixth sense was right, and we did not lose this game, because I knew how to do act. I knew what to do, and I did it immediately. Woohoo. May the light grant you peace. <laughs> what if it's Avenge? Do they run Avenge in that deck still? This could have five health. I can't have that happen. I don't think it's Avenge though. Okay, here we go. So it is the Nezolt deck, because no other deck runs the Red Scale Dragon Tamer. And they have some Kasagus power coming. That could be annoying. So much depends on what sort of what sort of minions they get. Hi Jay. Yeah, I've been doing that sort of videos like every two to three weeks, something like that. What Death Rattle minions have died? Erasable has died. That's it, right? I haven't lost any other Death Rattle minions. Basically, Death Rattle is semi useful. I think I want to fishy flyer that one though. And just use all of this stuff to go face. Let's 
try this. There's two random enemy minions, okay. How worried am I about that? Not particularly worried, I suppose. I'll just fishy fly over to that one too. And keep hitting face with these. Okay. I don't have a lethal setup yet though. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Reporting for duty. How worried am I about the hand of a doll? Not that worried really. Do they have a noble sacrifice in that deck? They usually don't, right? They might have reckoning. Did they have reckoning here? Yep, they did. But that pulls something else. So I'm not too worried. I can use this fellow right to kill that. I don't want to do that yet. I want to play the Vectors first. And this will kill that, this will go face, and I will hero power face. So now they're down to two. And I have four minions on this board. May the light and they don't run healing in that deck. So how exactly are they going to survive this? They are not. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.